Greetings and salutations. My name is Nikki. This is Midlife Adulting. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a budgeting video. Uh, it's been a really long time. I am still using YNAB, uh, You Need a Budget. I do have a referral link in my description if you decide you like the way this looks. I tell you what, after four or five, and this number changes every single time because I honestly don't remember. But after four or five false starts, I have finally, this has finally been the budgeting program that works for me. I was ready for a budget. I was ready for a program. I had people giving me feedback on what was working and what wasn't working. And I was able to watch videos of other people do use the program. So it's really, it's worked out this time. So you can see that I have about $2,500 to budget. I say about because there is a little recording block right above that number. But I am going to go through and assign money to categories. What I have first is the Nissan. Now I've already spent 300 this month and it says I need another 150. But what happened was I was late one payment and so I made a $450 payment and so it's off by $150 so I don't actually need the money in there. I will need it at the, I think there's one more paycheck before those come out so the next paycheck it's gonna, I'm going to sign those um, so that I have the money for the 8th and the 16th. Mortgage $800 needed by the 24th, that is going to be coming up fairly shortly and I should pay that tonight. So let's make sure that there's $800 in there. Uh, State Farm claims, I zeroed that out because I was shuffling money around. We're gonna leave it empty. I still owe and I am past what I said what my due date was gonna be. Um, mm. Groceries, I am right on track. I need another $500, so I'm going to plus $500. Now I have my groceries fully funded for the month. Gas, I have been driving a whole lot more than usual. I probably should readjust the gas category because currently I'm overspent by $121.08, which means I'm spending almost doubling guess what it used to. Let's assign, refill up to $70 each week. Let's edit the target. Let's say $125 every Sunday. Next month, I want to do that. Okay, so let's save that target. That still puts me overspent, but it's more realistic to what I'm using. So let's, so if I'm putting 125 per week, so let me add 250. I still need 110 more. Let's leave it like this for now. Fast food, I'm overspent by quite a bit. Well, only about $10 actually. Let's go ahead and add 75 to that. That puts me more on track. Forgot to budget. We're going to leave that blank for right now. Looks like I have about $877 left to assign to categories. Phone is overspent because I we purchased a new phone for a member of the family. So let's get this back on track. It's been fully spent, but I shouldn't have any more phone bills for the rest of the month. Patreon, fully spent. I have my dollar assigned. Since that comes out the very first of the month, let's go ahead and just add that extra dollar in there and then it's ready for next month. Insurance, funded, splendid. Netflix, fully spent, great. Tuition, so the 15th is passed. I am actually ahead of the game because instead of the 157.51 I thought it was going to be, it ended up being 
I think that's because last month I paid the bill on the 16th and it's due on the 15th, but it was a weekend. So I went ahead and paid the penalty just in case. So there wouldn't be like outstanding issues at all. And this month, I believe it's under that 2168 about what that penalty was. So that I don't actually need 157 more by the 15th. Let's take a look at this category. I, assign 15751 to meet your target by the 15th of the month, but that it must have been in there from last month or something. We're going to let it go. Gym membership fully spent. That means both memberships came out. IRS, I need another at 125, so let's make sure that's in there because they are going to take that money out, whether I have it assigned or not. Disney Plus, they're ready. So I've ended up with another, yet another streaming service. We have six months of Apple Plus through T-Mobile with this, with the new line that we got. I am totally taking advantage of that because there's lessons in chemistry that I'd like to watch. Severance, when the new season comes out, there's things I want to see. Electricity, 60 more dollars needed by the 24th. So let's add that. I still have $520, I think. Internet, 53.90. So let's do just do another 60 and have it overfunded because those little those little things add up they add up uh 147 16 more needed by the 24th okay plus 147 16. now i'm at 175 very good quarterly bills 24th water fully spent that must have that that's strange because I thought in this pile here I had a water bill due. That's mail I'm going to take a look at. What seems okay, so it thinks water's fully spent. Great, no problem. Garbage on track. Amazon Prime on track, GoDaddy on track, Music on track, YNAB on track, Dropbox on track, AAA on track, Canva on track, Gmanual on track. Great. Just for fun. So that's over. Let's do plus 30.23. That's even. Books, that's good. I actually spend a little money on books today. Uh, but it hasn't come through yet in the categories, so we're not going to worry about that. Clothing. I bought a new pair of shoes. That's why this is quite over as much as it is. I also have some money in my personal account that needs to come over to this account to cover some of these things like the new phone and the shoes but for right now let's just 269.73 now that's covered charity funded I've been purchasing Christmas gifts early so my children category is overspent oh now I'm in the red auto maintenance overspent 137, 134.17. Okay, everything else looks good right now. However, I've assigned more than I have. I need to pay the mortgage. I could cut into that a little, to the groceries a little bit if I had to. Oh, let's see here. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to move money over from my personal account, but I am going to have to do that separately from this video. Uh, so yes, 
where is this? I guess we're taking it out of here. We're gonna take it out of here. So we're taking it from charity, we're taking it from children, we're taking it from clothing because I just have, you know, the $10, $20 here and there, here and there. Um, just to get us in the green. It is what it is. If I hadn't bought the shoes and I hadn't added the phone, I would have come out this month ahead so at least I know where my problem areas are oh okay so now I'm gonna oh no okay I have 26. We're going to put these categories in. Forgot to budget. Six cents. Okay, I'm a zero, all money is budgeted. I clearly don't have my stuff together yet. That's okay, I'm getting there. I anticipate next paycheck going a little bit better. I don't have any big purchases planned. I do have some funds that I could add to the bank account and make that better if I needed to. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I don't want to look at my personal budget right now. So we're going to call it here. Nice 13 minutes for you to watch. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have and you want to give it a thumbs up and possibly subscribe to see more content like this, that would be amazing. I'm going to try and post these videos every Friday, every two Fridays the budgeting videos, but we'll see how that goes because, you know, it just is what it is around here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're not having a fantastic day, I hope you're having a good day. If you're not having a good day, I hope tomorrow is better. I will see you next time. Bye.